Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. Over the past few days I've been creating really pretty cards using these layered florals, die and stamp sets. And these are some of the cards that I've created. But today I'm going to use watercolours and I'm going to show you a really easy way to decorate these flowers. So to create this look you will need some watercolour card. I've taken the three largest stamps from the stamp set and added them to my platform and you're going to need some embossing powder so you can use any colour you want but I'm going to use silver on mine. Now you'll also need an embossing pad and you will need to um, go over this with some anti-static powder. Now this is just talcum powder that I've got and I'm using an old container and I'm just going to go over my sheet and that just takes off any greasy fingerprints that I may have left on my card. So with my three stamps in place I'm going to ink them up with the embossing ink and I'm going to press this down onto my um, my watercolour paper. Now this is just one of those window cleaners that you get for your car I think it cost me 50 pence. So we've stamped our images down I'm going to flip the card around so that I can get some more images and I'm going to ink these as well. So we'll press these down and once we've got a good impression, we can sprinkle all this with some silver embossing powder. So I'm just going to put a sheet of copy paper underneath and that's just to catch the, the surplus powder. There we are, we've got our beautiful flowers there on the sheet and now we can heat set that so that we can colour the flowers. So with your watercolours decide what colour you want and wet your pans so that you've got the, the ink or the paint on your brush. Now all I'm going to do is just go over these lightly with a wash and we can change the colour if we wish and we can have, let's have some lilac ones. So we'll do this one lilac. So all I'm doing is just really plonking the, the paint down on that um, sheet and we'll have a teal one here. Now that's a little bit too bright so we'll take some of the paint off that. So I've painted the ones at the bottom as well. Now once that's dry go back to the colour and get your brush nice and wet and then just over the top of this flower we're going to add some splatters of the paint and we're going to use the same colours that we've used on the other flowers and we'll add that as well. Now we're also going to dry this. Now if you want to you can go to a deeper colour 
and you can add some more splatters to your flowers. So this is a deeper shade of pink. And we'll go to a deeper shade of blue, which will be this, this one. And again, we'll just add some more splatters to the flower. And each time you do this, you're going to dry this in between with your heat tool. So on another piece of watercolour card, I'm just going to do the same with some green. And this is going to give me some leaves that will go behind my flowers. And I'm going to mix the shades of green up to give me a nice variation for my leaves. Now to create some leaves, I like this large flourish from the, the Rose Flourish die set. And so I've cut several of these out ready to add to my cards. I've taken the little leaf set from the um, layered florals and I'm going to use my mottled card to cut that. And then with the other dies, I'm going to cut out these flowers that I have coloured very simply with some watercolour. So once you've got everything cut, so there's my mottled leaves, there's my flourish leaves. These are the flowers that I've just done with the silver background. These are some that I did with the white embossing powder. This is one that I've used all three colours on the same flower and this is a lilac one. So now you've got lots of choices and lots of flowers with which to make your cards. So let's start with some backgrounds. So here we have three base cards with the fold at the top and each one has a panel that will sit on the front. Now on one of those panels we're going to round the edges. So here we have a little corner rounder, just going to push the corners in there and round those edges. So that makes that one just a little bit different to the others. I'm also going to emboss this panel. So I've used the Flourish embossing folder I've spritzed the card just a little bit, run it through the machine and that's one panel now ready to be decorated. So let's start with the next now one. Now for the next one I've taken two ovals and I've taped them together and I have cut out some frames. Now if you take the frames off the card carefully and keep them together you know then that however many times you cut that frame it's always going to be the same size and so we'll run this through the machine as well so there's my next frame keep the pieces that come out of the middle they can always be used on something else and then you can remove your frames and your tape now all I need to do now is stack all these three frames together and they will give me a nice deep frame for the top of my card. Now onto this one we're going to add some watercolours. Now don't forget this is not the watercolour card. So I've given the card a light spritz in and I'm coming into this lilac and we're just going to add some colour down one side. Now we'll clean the brush off and we'll add some pink as well. That's a bit too vibrant so we'll just water that down a little bit. Now as I said it's not watercolour card so we do need to be careful and if you tilt the card the water will run. Now in between those layers we're going to dry it off. 
Now once your card is dry with the same colours I'm going to, now I'm going to a darker shade of purple and we're just going to add some splatters all over this card in the two colours that we've just used and in between these layers we're going to dry this off so now with a finer brush and an acrylic block I'm going to take some of the black and I'm going to add this to my block and I'm going to add some water and then with the finer brush I'm just going to add some black splatters to my card Now we can set that on one side now to dry. Now for the panel to the one behind the frame I'm going to use another embossing folder and I'm just going to pop this in and run that through the machine. So now I have three cards with three different backgrounds and one has a frame. So now we can start to add in all the different decorations. These will obviously be glued to the base this is just playing first of all so let's get all our bits and pieces together that we need to add to these cards and I think we'll have this one in the centre now I'm going to take the pink flowers and I'm going to add these to this card and we'll tuck the little mottled leaves in behind And then on this one I think we'll add the three different colours. So we'll add these in along here and again we'll tuck some of the mottled leaves in behind the flowers and the display. And on this one we'll have, um, we'll have these three flowers, we'll have the two blue ones at the bottom and the lilac one on the top. And again, add the mottled leaves to the display just to make it look even more pretty. So once I'm happy with this display, I'm going to go away and glue these in place. Now, if you can't remember which way you've put your design, take a quick photograph with your phone. That way you can always refer back to it when you reassemble the cards. So there we are with all our bits in places. Now on two of them, we're going to add some splatter. So we'll move this one out of the way, we'll keep those two together, we'll find our really thin paintbrush again and we'll bring back in our water and our mat. So again just reactivate the black and we're just going to add some black splatters to the top of the card. It doesn't matter if you go over the flowers, that's all part and parcel of the entertainment. Now from our watercolour card, watercolour mix, we're going to take some of the purple and we're going to add this to our palette and we're going to add some purple splatters to the card. And then we'll add some of the paler pink ones along there. Now the last thing I'm going to do, or the next thing I'm going to do, is add some gold. So I've got these Gansai Tambi starry colours and these are all shades of gold and um, I think this is silver or pearl. So let's just activate the gold for this one. We'll use this gold. Just add some gold splatters to the card. So there we are. And we'll move that one out of the way 
and now we'll add some of these pearly ones. So we'll get this activated. There we are. And again we'll add some splatters to this card. Now these are very subtle, but they are there. So with the larger paintbrush and the silver, I decided to add some silver splatters to the other card, the one with the frame. And now I'm happy with all three of those. I'm now going to add some sentiments. So there are my finished cards with the sentiments on. And I've also found these little blue uh, mirror card leaves which I'm going to tuck into this one along there and that will just add another finishing touch to that card. So there are my three finished cards and I still have some flowers left to add to another card. And the items that I've used are the layered florals die and stamp set. I've taken the large leaf from the rose flourish. I've used these two embossing folders and the sentiments from these two die sets. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please join me on the next one and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.